today we'll be looking at a new Switch game, Cadence of Hyrule, Crypt of the Necrodancer, featuring The Legend of Zelda, or Cadence of Hyrule for short. Cadence of Hyrule was developed by the studio behind Crypt of the Necrodancer, which prior to this game being announced I had not heard of, but it did purchase alongside Cadence of Hyrule, so expect that review in the future. For this game, Nintendo has allowed use of its IPs to the indie developer Brace Yourself Games, and the result is what initially appears to be a modernized take on A Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. So yes, this game does look like it could be a spiritual successor to Link to the Past, but the gameplay is rhythm based and does take some time to get used to. You need to coordinate your movements and attacks to the beat that is at the bottom of the screen. For someone like myself who has no rhythm, it has been challenging for me to get the hang of playing the game effectively. But in my three hours of playtime for this review, I did start to get the hang of it by about the three hour mark. As I was becoming familiar with the controls, being in a 16-bit Zelda world gave me some real nostalgic feels. Familiar enemies and locations make this game feel at home in the Zelda universe. Alternatively, I feel as though this game would feel rather generic if it weren't using such a well-known property, which is what I am actually expecting when I do give Crypt of the Necrodancer a shot. The game does not appear to be that long when all is said and done, as I believe my progress in the game is much less than it should have been at this point as I fumbled around with the controls for a little longer than I should have, dying quite frequently, but as you go you're constantly finding power-ups and heart pieces, so there is actually that sense of progress. I will likely play through the game a second time, playing as Zelda, which should give me a better gauge of how long this game should take to complete. The game actually has leaderboards for speedrunning, which actually kind of terrifies me. I have enjoyed my time with Cadence of Hyrule. I overlook the difficulty I personally have with rhythm-based controls because I was playing a game in the Zelda universe. That being said, if you like rhythm games and The Legend of Zelda, this game is definitely for you. If you're not rhythmically inclined, but like Zelda, you'll have your challenges, but will still enjoy the game. If you like neither, well, this game isn't for you. But since that was not my experience, and I've enjoyed Cadence of Hyrule, I will be seeing this game to its completion, which means I recommend this game. Thank you for taking the time to watch my review. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like down below, and if you'd like to be notified of new content, subscribe to Sirlink Gaming.